What a topic. Credit cards. Credit cards. The bane of many people's existence around the world, especially in the United States of America. <laughs> One second. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> so when did the credit card arrive on the scene? Edward Bellamy, who's an author, wrote about the credit card concept 11 times in, an, in a, a novel that he wrote called Looking Backward, I believe. And it was published in 1887. And basically, this was a card in his novel that was used for the government to provide dividends back to the people uh but obviously now that's not what a credit card is it's more on credit so that was in 1887 edward bellamy writing about this idea in his novel but then it wasn't until like the 1930s that uh western union and some big old oil companies here in the states uh began to explore the idea of providing cards to their employees where they could purchase things on credit. All right, so that was in the 1930s. An era, an era defined by a vast and complicated urban culture that would dominate the rest of the 20th century. Uh, so fast forwarding 20 years from the 1930s, Bank of America changed the whole landscape. And basically, a lot of retailers did not accept credit cards between 1935 and 1958. They just didn't, it was cash, 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 all the time, cash cow, baby. So, Bank of America changed all that. Out of Fresno, California, they began to develop uh, a credit card that was accepted across the United States in different uh, stores, like the old Sears and Robux. That was 1958, Bank of America. Fast forward eight years to the UK. Shout out to Sean. Barclay, Barclay credit cards uh, were developed. It was the first credit card developed outside the US. And that was 1966. Come on, everybody. Clap your hands. Oh, you're looking good. I'm going to sing my song. It won't so I guess just speaking off the cuff here, what are some benefits? What are some drawbacks to credit cards? If I could have your credit card. Absolutely. Holy guacamole. Well, okay, ease of use would be a benefit. It's easy to use a credit card. You can show up at any store now in 2017 and swipe, swipe, swipe. This card, which is fake, as he goes through the back to swipe it, you swipe the vase. I guess another kind of benefit would be that you can build up a credit history, which means basically you can uh, take on debt. <laughs> That's what it is, people. It's debt. When you use a credit card, you're taking on debt, but then you're proving to your bank, to lenders, that you can pay it off. So that's your credit history, your credit score, as we all are now connected to in the 21st century. Drawback number one, it's easy to use. It's easy to use. Just swipe, swipe. So it's so swipe, easy to swipe, use, swipe, like you swipe, don't even have to swipe. put cash out of your wallet, which that is uh, that is a drawback, ladies and gentlemen. That is a drawback because that's how people just zoop, zoop, and then there you go. You're a thousand dollars in debt, fifteen hundred dollars in debt. If you don't have a good job, there you go. You start your debt. You start the interest rates. So that's a very very brief overview of a little history behind the credit card. It's on that topic, I'll just give a shout out to the Wall Street Journal. Basically, in the United States, in 2016 credit card debt uh, continued to rise here in the U.S. Continued, or maybe it's this way. Continued to go up here in the U.S., credit card debt. We Americans have not figured out how to control the... All right, going home now, and True Love and I are going to talk about our credit cards. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. I'm going to share it with you. Come on, come on. My oh my, this sunset is amazing. Are you capturing it? I am. Oh, check. Check, check, and check. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to the Casa. Here we are. <laughs> basically, El Casa? La Casa? Yeah, I just... So, <clears throat> basically, 
The first official credit card was started in 1958. Oh, I didn't know that. Kind of crazy, right? Oh, it's... Wow. Right? Yeah. I, so, the first kind of big one by Bank of America... <laughs> we're good. Can you edit that? What we're about to share with you is a little slice of our story. So today is February 22nd, 2017. And basically, about a year ago, yep. we said, Whoa, let's put on the brakes a little bit and just kind of reel in, rein it in a little, <laughs> as far as our spending goes. Yeah. And what did we decide to switch to about a year ago? Cash money. Well, we have props. Cash envelopes. We did the cash envelope system almost a year ago. And that was a game changer for us. When you're paying with that dollar, you feel there's a little pain when those dollar bills leave your pocket. But when you swipe, no swipe, pain. Swipe. You're like, oh, I went 20 over. Or I went, even if you went $2 over, oh, I went $2 over, no problem. But with a cash envelope, when there's only 20 in there, that's all you can spend. And you yeah. can't possibly go over. So, so about February 2016, yeah. we switched from the card system to the cash system. And guess what? We can now officially say, we're, we're debt free! free! Woo I mean, but here's the deal, people. It took time. It took, yeah. It took, well, it took us about, now listen, we were not $100,000 in debt. Yeah. Or 50000 But it was enough to say, whoa, we yeah. got to just rein it in a little bit yeah. and calm down a little <laughs> and just get, you know, back on track beans and rice every night. So it wasn't gazelle intense, but it was our gazelle intense. We our cut version. out a ton of things. We lowered, we canceled internet. I mean, we just did a ton of things. I actually did the math. We cut, <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. So I, I do YouTube and a vlog every single day. Yeah. And we do not have internet in this house. Yeah. <gasps> we do not have, so when I drive to four bucks crazy. on Saturday, That's why. it's to upload. And That's guess what? what? I did the math. Yeah. We yeah. have not had internet in the house for roughly, I think it was like three and a half years, yeah. roughly. Yeah, we did that a while ago. We have saved about $1,600. What? $1,600. It's gone. It's gone. It feels so, amazing. So, anyway, it's like, and now, guess, so the, the whole idea moving forward is that everything you pay for and that we pay for yeah. will have already been budgeted out and the money will be in hand with cash. And... <sighs> We're debt free. We're debt free. So we're, we're, we, I guess it's kind of fun to carry a bunch of cash. It's kind of fun. So, Wait. what are we going to do with this? Plastic surgery. Oh my, my. Plastic surgery. Hold on. Oh. Let me, um, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Sorry. Come with me. Come with me. Mm -hmm. You, you hold, you hold those up. Yep. Hold on here. Okay. Hold. This is the thumbnail. Thumbnail! Perfect. Woo! Love you guys. Hey, should we just say it now? Seek beauty. Work, work hard. To pay off your debt. Pay off your debt. And love, love each, each other. Love each other. See you tomorrow. Bye.